I see a lot of artist statements on art that feels like they made up an artist statement because they had to have one and they weren't confident in just saying like, I don't know, it just seemed like a thing to do. Like when I was a kid, I used to ask my dad a lot of questions all the time. And why does this work or how does this happen? And I was just kind of that kid that was very curious. And eventually my dad like would just go like, Kyle, I guess it just seemed like the thing to do at the time. For a long time, like thought you had to have permission to do art or creativity. And I still like have a really hard time identifying myself as an artist or as a creative person. If you have an idea, don't ask questions like, well, is it going to be practical or is it going to make money or what, how will this advance my career in some way? Just ask, well, does it seem like it would be a fun thing to do? I noticed that it's always like adults who ask the question, why did you make this? Like kids never ask that question. Like the kids see you making a giant Viking ship and they're just like, yeah, I get it. You had an idea and you made it and you didn't, you don't get your value off of what other people think of it. You don't like, there's not some deeper thing. You're not, it's just, hey, this is this idea I wanted to make. And so I'm going to, I'm going to do it. This idea came about because I'm turning 30 and my mom and dad have some land out in the country and my mom had kind of just casually mentioned to my wife like, hey, are you guys doing anything for Kyle's 30th? Uh, if you wanted to, you could have some friends over, have a bonfire or something out here. And then my wife mentioned that to me and I, like I do all the time, was like, how can I make that harder and more complicated? And so um, I had this idea of like, what if I did a Viking funeral for my 20s? And so um, I decided I would build a giant Viking ship and build some big letters that say my 20s and then you know, shoot a flaming arrow into it or light it on fire somehow and, uh, and sort of memorialize the, the death of my 20s. Even people who aren't going to be there have, have been emailing me and commenting on stuff and just expressing like how much joy they've gotten out of just watching this thing develop through four pictures on Instagram that I've posted so far or through, through reading my status updates about the project or whatever. The idea behind, hey, I'm going to make this thing and then it's going to be gone and then we're going to be done with it and hopefully it, it spreads some joy into the world. That's why, that's why I do it and that's what I want to do. And I think that that's, that's the way a kid would approach it and that's the way I want to approach it. I'm just hoping that all these people come to this thing and they have a lot of fun and they get to, you know, be part of lighting this thing on fire and we're all going to shoot Roman candles at it and, and, and just see it go up and, and celebrate life and celebrate um, not only where we've come from but where we can go from here. You know, the, the, the death of one decade is just really the beginning of the next and, and so I'm, I'm hopeful that my 20s and, and, you know, really all the first 30 years of my life are the least creative years of my life. I hope that I look back and go, man, I was just getting started back then and, and that I build bigger and better stuff down the road. And so that's an, another reason why I don't mind burning this stuff is because I go, man, I gotta, you gotta clear out the old stuff to make room for the new, and you gotta clear out the old ideas to make room for, for newer and bigger and better stuff.